That's right, YouTube. I got baby orca whales, and they are awesome. So stay tuned. All right, come on, YouTube. You didn't think I actually got baby orcas, but I got something that's pretty close. Well, not really. They're black. They're white. They're catfish. They're super awesome. They've been acclimating for about an hour. We're going to go ahead and drop them in this uh, marina hang-on breeder box so we can get a good look at them, and then we'll put them in the tank. All right, folks, here we have them. This is actually the Ninja Wood Cat, which I think are absolutely stunning. Super awesome, little peaceful. This, these are full grown, by the way. Uh, completely peaceful. They will eat smaller fish, so, you know, nano tanks, probably not a good idea. But rainbow fish, most tetras, ras, you know, the larger rasboras, barbs, things like that are going to be awesome for these guys. These are going to be going in with my cupid cichlids. These guys love to hide, like most catfish. They love nooks and crannies. So obviously this tank is perfect for them. Now, don't fret. These did go through a quarantine process before I picked them up, so we're good there. So we're going to drop these guys in, let them get used to this tank a little bit, and then hopefully we'll get some good shots of them and we can go over some care requirements for them. Just going to lift it over the top and lower them down in. Don't fight it guys, get on out of there. Oh yeah. They are going to run and hide. So like I said, I'm gonna give them a day or two, let them get adjusted, they've already ran and hid. Everyone else is hiding too, but uh, we'll let them get adjusted and then like I said, we'll talk about care requirements and kinda of give you the rundown on these guys cause they're pretty dang awesome. All right, I think I've made a mistake by letting these guys go too soon. It is now the next day. There's a dragonfish coming out for you, dragon goby. But uh, anyways, it is the next day. I've been checking in on this tank all day and I have yet to see any of the catfish. So, man, what I was reading, it said that they're a boisterous little species and I was thinking, okay, maybe like Pictus cats or very least quarry cats are always out, but nope. The typical catfish, I have not seen them at all. I have lowered the lighting, it's only in the back corner there now, although I think I'm going to go get some blood worms and put them up front and see if we can get them to come out. Alright, here we have our cube of blood worms, which is now floating up. Let's see if we can get anything to come out and snatch them here. Obviously we have the cupid cichlids there. What else is going to come out? Hopefully some of these catfish come out, because this is going to be kind of embarrassing if they don't. There's another cupid cichlid and another one. Oh, at least we're gonna see a dragonfish come out. Maybe the rope fish will come out, maybe the eel will come out. Something stirring up back there. Either way, we might see some interesting fish here. Here we go. Just gotta chow him down. Still looking for my ninja wood cats though. All right, while we're waiting for them to come out, uh, everyone else is coming out at least. Got to look at the dragonfish, the rope fish. I'm sure the eel will come out soon. But anyways, like I said, good community fish. Uh, right around 72 on the low end, 79.80 on the high end. pH 6.2 to 7.0. So a little acidic, but not too bad. Uh, what else do we know about these guys? They come from Venezuela. They do like to be in larger groups, so they are a social catfish, but... I'm not buying it yet. To be fair, I probably have a little too much hiding space going on in this tank, so I guess I can't really expect much else. A lot of people have been asking about the dragon gobies. There's one of them there. Hopefully the other one will be coming out soon. Hopefully. i really like to get a look at some of these uh, catfish, though.
did throw way too many bloodworms in here, but tomorrow is water change day, so not gonna be that big of a deal. I'm really just trying to get some of these catfish out of here. Here comes the big chunk now. Bonk that dude right on the head. I'm actually really surprised. There goes the dragon goby. Here's the uh, eel. Oh no, that's the tail of the rope fish. Derp. So it's a little later, and now I'm trying the flashlight method. Hoping they'll, they'll at least come out a little bit. Still nothing. So that's a little disappointing. I'm not gonna lie, that's a lot disappointing. But at least you all get to see the dragon goby. I've had a lot of people asking. I haven't seen the other one come out yet. But uh, we saw the rope fish too. I did see the eel, but I spooked him. He went back into hiding, which is not like him. Here comes the rope fish again. I mean, come on guys, where you at? I wonder if these are burrowers, kind of like the, uh, what is it, the bumblebee catfish, I think? That would be unfortunate. Everything I read up on these guys, no one mentioned that they burrow, but it wouldn't surprise me at this point. But at least we got some photos of them in the breeder box before I dumped them in. Hopefully this isn't one of those catfish that you just never see again. It's kind of weird though. Like I said, everything I read online said that they're kind of boisterous and outgoing. Maybe I just need to give them some more time to settle in here and get used to their new buddies. Alright YouTube, thanks for watching. Sorry we didn't get any shots of these fish towards the end of the video. Very disappointing. But if they do get more comfortable and start coming out more, we'll definitely have an update video on them. Uh, even if they don't, I might have to go digging around for them after a while. If it goes like a month or two without seeing them, you better believe I'm going to be digging that tank up. So stay tuned, subscribe if you're not. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see everyone this Monday, 5 p.m. Pacific, for the live stream.